game is underway. This is Del Rogers, 35 at the goal line to the 5. Little stutter step to the 15 to the 20, breaks into the 25 to the 30 to the 35 to 40, 45, 50 into Falcon territory, all the way down, and finally wrestled out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. Earl Jones, number 20, with a touchdown saving tackle. And the Atlanta Falcons find themselves in a hole very early. The Green Bay Packers bust it from the opening kickoff. The six year running back out of Iowa is in there now, number 33 in place of Jerry Ellis. Eddie Lee Ivory. First down for the Green Bay Packers. Finally brought down by Joe L. Williams, the four-year linebacker out of Wisconsin lacrosse. Two and one, trying to clinch a playoff spot. The Atlanta Falcons five and two are in. Dickey's first pass over the middle, incomplete and intercepted by the Atlanta Falcons. That's Glazebrook in his fifth year out of Fresno State. Wartkowski needs nine on third down. Packers coming, nickel defense, and he is sacked behind the line of scrimmage and a fine defensive play by Terry Jones, the fifth year nose tackle out of Alabama. Snap is a little high, gets it away, and the Packers should have very good field position. Inside the 40 and driven backwards, it'll be first and 10 Green Bay. Falcons are coming out of the backfield, Eddie Lee Ivory. Close to first down yardage as he fights his way across the 30-yard line. Let's see where they mark his forward progress. All the way over from his nose tackle position, Don Smith, the four-year veteran out of Miami of Florida. As you take Falcons shift around on defense and are coming. And Dickey is sacked. A late hit by number 54, Fulton Kuykendall, out of UCLA. Now it's 31 sacks with Joel Williams' sack of Dickey. Wide receivers are left and right. Lofton and Jefferson, the backs are split. It is third down now and 43. They'll set up a little screen pass over to Gary Ellis, but he will be stopped way shy. And you can see the swarming defense of the Atlanta Falcons as the intensity is picking up early in this football game. <laughs> We've got 8.25 left to go in this first quarter. Kowski got his man wide open over the middle. First down for the Atlanta Falcons, Alfred Jenkins in his eighth year out of Morris Brown, a free agent. 5'9", 155, and you see that blazing speed. He is the third leading receiver in the Atlanta Falcons so far this year. William Andrews, of course, is the top receiver. Kowski on first down, got his man looping out of the backfield. William Andrews again. And George Cumby, number 52, in there in the hit for Green Bay. To the left side, Junior Miller, the tight end, to the right side. Bartkowski to put it up. Got William Andrews. And William Andrews is just shy of first down yardage, and there's a flag on the play. But for the illegal use of the hands, number 84 on the offense. That's the eight-year wide receiver out of Morris Brown, Alfred Jenkins. So it backs the Atlanta Falcons up. All the way back at the 44-yard line of Green Bay. Husky. Packers faking the blitz. Now they drop back. Double coverage for wideouts. Got the man just into the lineup. Floyd Hodge out of Utah. And he gets it back near the 39-yard line. Still shy of first down yardage. Mike Douglas in on the tackle along with Johnny Gray. Now to third down. And three yards to go. the hands of the attended receiver, the big tight end, Junior Miller. He would have had the first down. Fine defensive play by John Anderson, the five-year veteran linebacker out of Michigan. But we've got a flag back in from the 21-yard line. And as soon as we say that, they go with the draw play, and they've got the first down, busting it over the middle. Gary Ellis, the free agent out of Missouri, he got the last four yards all on his own, simply to right side down in the squat formation, backs in the tail of the tandem, and Vicky to air it out, goes way up top on first down. He's got Lofton out there at the 25-yard line, and it'll be a first down for the Green Bay Packers. Pass interference against the Falcons, Bobby Butler, the culprit. The right, Jefferson to the top of your screen, Lofton to the bottom. Falcons showing blitz. Vicky reads it. Releases quickly. Got Eddie Lee Ivory looping out of the backfield. And that's what you try to do is isolate that back on the linebacker. He's Gary Ellis of the running backs. Wide receivers are split. That's Jefferson in motion to the top of the screen. Straight ahead is Dell Rogers out of Utah as he pulls his way down inside the five. It'll be first and goal for the Green Bay Packers. Finally, Joel Williams made the tackle along with Tom Pridemore. They go with the double tight end alignment now. Eddie Lee Ivory and Gary Ellis. Ellis, touchdown.
Eddie Lee Ivory. The fake Dallas and Eddie Lee Ivory puts the Packers on the board. 6-0. So after three tries, John, Green Bay finally gets on the board. 1-0 lead over the Atlanta Falcons. 131 left to go. They go 80 yards in eight plays. Low snap. Roberts, and this one is a beauty. A high, high, high spiral that backs the Packers up to the 20-yard line. Fielded plainly to the 30, up to the 35, and running room to the 40. Into Atlanta territory, down at the 45. Bill Epps, 85, almost broke it. They got the wall set up to the near side, and George Roberts, the punter, made the tackle. Other In the tail of the tandem, Eddie Lee Ivory, the fake, Dickey. Comes back to the far side. Man is wide open, and that's Lofton. And he stepped out of bounds. Otherwise, he would have had some running room because the secondary of the Falcons, John, laying way off of James. And, of course, you saw the graphic. Neither one, Jefferson or Lofton, has scored a touchdown since the strike. That's Dell Rogers, who tries the middle of that Atlanta secondary, or the middle of the Atlanta line. And he's chopped down after he barely gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Slot formation to the right side. Jefferson outside, Lofton inside. Backs are Ivory and Ellis. That's in motion. The James fumble the football, and the Falcons come up with it. And then the Packers say they got it back. It was like a hot potato inside the 25-yard line. Looked like Paul Hoffman, number 82, the tight end, might have... By democratic process, the Atlanta Falcons get the football. 29 catches for 414 yards, averaging 15 yards per catch, his longest 86 yards and a touchdown. Bartkowski needs seven on third down, and he gets it. But his receiver is out of bounds right in front of a furious Falcon bench. In 33-21, Dickey on first down. Airs it out. Down for the Green Bay Packers at the 13-yard line of the Atlanta Falcons. Bill F., who is all over the field, the rookie out of TCU. Toward the field as opposed to the outside arm, which is toward, toward the receiver. Good point, Jim. John Jefferson in motion to the top of your screen. Inside handoff. Eddie Lee Ivory, he's got the touchdown. He's inside the five, and he's going for his second score. The football game, he nails it. Green Bay goes up 13 to nothing. On the left side, watch 83, John Jefferson, and the block that springs him around the left side. The play designed to go in. Nothing doing. He takes it outside. There's Jefferson at the top of the screen. There's the block, and then inside goes Eddie Lee Ivory, and he carries Pridemore within the last three yards. 14-0, Packers on top. 2-1, lead it 14-0. Slot to the left side, Bartkowski. Packers coming with five men up front. Lots of time as the Atlanta offensive line is holding beautifully. And now Bartkowski unloads. He's got his man looping across near the 21. That's Billy White Shoes Johnson in his eighth year out of Widener, but third and 10 from the 21-yard line. And Bartkowski will throw. Slot to the left side. Needs 10. Fires to the near side. Got his man. First down, Floyd Hodge in his first year out of Utah. And that time, Barkowski threw the best ball he's thrown in the football game. He fired that one right on a rope. Throw the football, and you saw the huge holes over there again. First and ten for Atlanta. They'll try the right side. Floyd Hodge again, a free agent out of Utah. First down for the Falcons. Mark Lee wrestled him out of bounds. It's wide receivers left and right. Baxter split. Falcons looking at second down and eight. Barkowski, a little screen pass. Got Jenkins, or he's got William Andrews, and he's got a convoy. First down for the Falcons. George Cumbie and John Anderson in there on the tackle, but William Andrews, the leading receiver, the leading ground gainer, he just simply bowled Packers over, and you see one of them, Mark Lee, down over on the far sideline. Eastern time, right here on CBS. Estes Hood, number 38, is in. Mark Lee, 22 out in the secondary for the Green Bay Packers. Around the left side, Gerald Riggs hit and hit hard, sandwiched down by Randy Scott. He's having a great career here this afternoon. Team from the 36, Bartkowski to air it out. Slot formation, Bartkowski can run, decides to throw. William Andrews on a roll down inside the 16-yard line. Finally tackled, hit down at the 16 by number 23. Pulled off the board thus far, first and 10 at the 16-yard line of Green Bay. William Andrews, Mr. Everything, number 31 in the backfield. Bartkowski dumps it off to Riggs. Riggs on a roll. Down to the one-foot line. Knocking at the Green Bay door. They, of course, will key on William Andrews. 
a bootleg by Bobkowski, and the Packers were not fooled. George Cumbie, the third-year right inside linebacker out of Oklahoma. Randy Scott, the left side inside linebacker out of Alabama. It's Johnny Gray. Fourth down, three yards to go for the Atlanta Falcons, who will go for it. Play action, Bartkowski scrambles, right corner, touchdown, Atlanta, William Andrews. Falcons right back in this football game. Yard line, it's kind of be careful time for the Packers now. Kaufman in motion to the top of the screen. Dickey over the middle, got his man. James Lofton up near the 18-yard line. On fit back, Lofton to the left side, John Jefferson to the right side. Long count by Dickey. Might be an audible. Falcons coming. Wide open is James Lofton, and they won't catch James. An 80-yard touchdown toss, and Lofton is all the way into the tunnel. He's taking halftime early. Uh -huh. That's the kind of situation you want to get, okay? You get a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's gone. Come on back. Everybody. Here you get a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's a mismatch. Kenny Johnson, number 37, does not have the speed to stay with a, a world-class athlete like James Lofton. And he doesn't. Lofton takes it for the touchdown. Ran right away from Kenny Johnson, the veteran out of Mississippi State, and there goes James Lofton into the tunnel. The longest Green Bay touchdown pass of the year. And there you can see it is James Lofton's first touchdown catch since the strike. He Jackson and Jenkins, the wide receivers. Bartkowski to put it up. Bartkowski got Jenkins up near the 34-yard line, and it'll be a first down for the Falcons. Gum-chewing Lehman Bennett. First and ten for the Falcons. William Andrews not fooled for the Green Bay Packers on a fine defensive play is Terry Jones. Second and 15. Bartkowski fires over the middle. Got Jenkins again up near the 44-yard line. I'll cover him. Slot to the left side. Bartkowski looks at the blitz. Fires over the middle, and down goes Alfred Jenkins. And down goes the penalty flag. And this will be a very controversial call. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 21, defense. First down. You see the time left in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. 48 seconds in the Falcons with one timeout. Penalty flag is down. Andrews has the ball at the 45 of Green Bay and pulls his way down near the 40-yard line. But as we said, a flag on the play. California Davis, a free agent, 6'4", 255, and they're on the hit. And this call goes against Atlanta. Backs are split for Bartkowski. He needs 25 yards. They'll set up the screen, and that's Gerald Riggs. Gets a block into Green Bay territory, but way shy of first down yardage. time the receivers turned it inside and Bartkowski threw the ball outside. Stacy Bailey might have made a rookie mistake, John Dockery, number 82. Third round draft pick out of San Jose State. Time left. Screen pass. Lynn Kane. Nothing doing. Third and five. Floyd Hodge, the rookie out of Utah, is in. Lynn Kane, the veteran out of USC, is out. Slant formation to the left side. Bartkowski on the quick count. Andrews stays at home to block. Got his man. That's Hodge out of Utah. And that's a first down for the Falcons. No flags on the play. Hodge Jackson to the left side. Backs are Lynn Kane and William Andrews from the 34. Bartkowski to throw on first down. Near sideline. Wide open is Alfred Jackson in his fifth year out of Texas. Play today. Jackson and Jenkins are split left and right. Backs are split as well. First and ten from the 40 set of the Falcons. Bartkowski, a little screen pass to William Andrews. Got two blockers out in front. Now cuts it back against the grain. And gets into Packer territory at the 49-yard line. Just outside Packer territory. Intercepted and then dropped at the 27-yard line. Back there for the Green Bay Packers, Johnny Gray, the veteran out of Fullerton, from the 10-yard line. John Jefferson in motion once again. Dickey, quick drop. Falcons are coming over the middle. Got the tight end, Paul Kaufman, in his fifth year out of Kansas State, a free agent, 6'3", 218. And he'll be very, very close to first down yardage. On the sideline at the moment, Dell Rogers is in, number 35. Dickey will throw for it. Fires to the right side. And he's got number 83, John Jefferson. And Jefferson managed to come up with a football. It was a very low throw. 
And he did it right in front of Bobby Butler, beating Al Richardson to the outside. 28-yard line. Packers on the move, and they lead by 14 points with three minutes left to go in this third quarter. Eddie Lee Ivory, first down and more for the Green Bay Packers up close to the 43-yard line. Joe L. Williams clinging on for the Falcons. 35 to nothing whitewash against the New Orleans Saints. Lynn Dickey on play action. Fires keep for James Lofton again. How do you do? Touchdown, Green Bay. He beat Kenny Johnson again. It's a danger that you're going to face if you are the Atlanta Falcons. Do not have superior athletes in the secondary. They don't have superior speed. Tom Pridemore did not get over from his middle safety position. Of 28 to 7 over the Atlanta Falcons. As you look now at James Lofton, who has two big touchdown catches so far against the Falcons. Green Bay headed for the playoffs. Falcons are already in. It's not over. There will be more scoring. Barkowski has the ability to put points on the board in a hurry. 8.01 left to go in the third quarter. Splits both wide receivers Jenkins and Jackson got his man William Andrews and he's got very nearly a first down had to get it up to about the 31 and a half may have been chopped down at the 31 will go try in the overtime session so it wound up at 20 all time they just need a couple of inches and the Falcons will bowl it over the right side no problem picking it up there with Warren Bryant and Dave Scott doing the blocking Jeff Van Oat the veteran center and there is James Lofton with two touchdown passes to his credit counting left to go in the third quarter Wide receivers, left and right, throws underneath. William Andrews approaches the 40-yard line and is chopped down at the 39. The Detroit Lions both three and four, along with the New Orleans Saints and the New York Giants. So everybody's got some big playoff games going on. Floyd Hodge out of Utah comes up with a first down catch for the Atlanta Falcons. We said don't go away. This game is far from over. We'll update that after this play. Jackson to the left, Jenkins to the right. William Andrews. First down and more for the Falcons. He is just unstoppable. That's what he did last week against the San Francisco 49ers when the Falcons put away the defending Super Bowl champions 17-7. And the man third and five. Big play time for the defense of the Packers for the offense of the Falcons from the 17. Bartkowski. Little swing pass. Got Lynn Kane. Got a blocker to the 15 to the 10. Down fighting his way to the five to the four to the three. And finally out of bounds at the two-yard line. John Anderson saved a touchdown for the Green Bay Packers. However, there is a flag on the play, and it will go against Atlanta. Third down and about 15 yards to go. All the way back at the 28-yard line. Bartkowski. Pressure by the Packers, and they sack Steve Bartkowski back at the 40-yard line. Casey Merrill, free agent from California Davis. Bartkowski has only been sacked seven times in five games. How's this for a call? Fourth and 28, and they go for it. Says something about your punter. Says something about trailing by 21. Floyd Hodge, open at the seven-yard line, in and out of his hands, and no flags. Steve Bartkowski threw the ball right on a rope, and Maurice Harvey, in his fourth year out of Ball State, another free agent, was there. Double tight end alignment for the Packers now, leading by 21, 28-7. Slot formation of the left side. Gary Lewis in motion at the top of the screen, and breaking it up the middle is Gary Ellis to the midfield strike. Like 1980, they have something going. Wide receivers left and right on the draw play first down for the Packers and look at this what a huge hole over the right side of that line for Gary Ellis Leotis Harris and Greg Cook the right guard and right tackle respectively Packers they lead by 21 Eddie Lee Ivory on a counter play and he did most of that on his own fights his way down to the 11 yard line before Buddy Curry the veteran inside linebacker out of North Carolina finally made the tackle on bombs of 80 and 57 yards to James Lofton. 28-7, that's where we are right now. 15 minutes left to go in regulation. Dickey, incomplete to Paul Kaufman, the tight end, and the flag is dropped. It'll be pass interference against Atlanta. William Andrews has been pretty much negated by that Packer defense. Dell Rogers, touchdown, Green Bay. And Jimmy... Zick Bard isn't happy. This is a pivotal game for him. This has been trying desperately to get back into the football game. They remain with Steve Barkowski at quarterback. And this one is picked off by the Green Bay Packers. John Anderson out of Michigan. First and 10. Green Bay at the 29-yard line of Atlanta. William Andrews made the tackle. Steve Barkowski picked off. He's just thrown his 10th interception on the season. 
two and five as well. That's Jefferson in motion to the top of the screen. Lynn Dickey on to J.J. who is chopped down behind the line of scrimmage. There is that swarming defense, but John said that's okay. Listen to the top of the screen, lost and wide to the left. Dickey fires over the middle, got Kaufman the tight end. And the big tight end rambles from Kansas State all the way down to the 20-yard line, and that should be a first down. Right. Two touchdowns, two long bombs to James Lofton. Fourth down, less than a yard to go for a first down. Whitehurst, the quarterback. It looked like Atlanta might have dropped off sides. And Whitehurst, on the delay, gets it off. Everybody was fooled on the play. He faked into the line. Whitehurst with a nice tuck behind the back, fired it over to John Thompson, the four-year tight end out of Utah State. Offside, defensive, middle guard, first down. Again. Gary Ellis, and again they run the blocking over on the right side behind Leotis Harris and Greg Cook. Now they are behind by 28, and Green Bay knocking at the Atlanta door once again. Slot formation to the left side, David Whitehurst wants to throw for one, and he does, but it's dropped at the last second over in the left corner of the end zone by number 83, John Jefferson. Had it with one hand and couldn't quite hang on. Look at him smiling. He's showing us what he did. He had that hand up, almost pulled it back in for the touchdown. Couldn't hold on to it. Johnny came in with 23 receptions, 422 yards, averaging 18 yards per catch. His longest for 50 yards, and he has yet to score a touchdown. You see, he tried to grab it with the right hand, reminiscent of that great grab a week ago by Terry LeCount for the Minnesota Vikings. Third down, five yards to go from the five. Slot formation to the left side. J.J. is in it. Whitehurst looks to the tight end. It's batted up in the air. Whitehurst gets it back and actually became the defender that time. As pick number 77 was in there, Doug Rogers, the rookie out of Stanford, a number two will be spotted at the 13, plus the 10 of the end zone will be 23. And Stenerud is perfect. Low snap, and Atlanta's got it. They blew right through there as if there wasn't even an offensive line. Matt Musburger later today right here on CBS. 38-7, Falcons on the short end. Trying to get into the end zone. Junior Miller with a reception inside the 10-yard line. Down at about the 9-yard line. The three and four. Oilers are just playing out the string and waiting to see who will be named as the new head coach. And if they can revamp and re reawaken Earl Campbell, who's didn't have much of an offensive line. Sack as Mike Morosky is sacked behind the line of scrimmage by Maurice Harvey. Hawkins will go for it. They've got to get it all the way down. In the end zone. Complete, but way shy of where they had to go to Billy White shoes Johnson at the 13-yard line, so the Packers' offense will trot back out of the field.